it's uh, been a while since I've done a Ron's Ramblings. I'm still a little bummed about my old channel because I had lots of Ramblings on that one. It's like my digital diary and I don't have any other copies. Uh, uh, maybe 20% of them I have. So it's not total loss, but I, anyway, um, I don't know if they already have this, but I've been looking, I've made it a personal goal that I'm going to figure out some secrets to the universe with just thought experiments because once I realized that's what Einstein did when I read his biographies, I mean, you know, he he was worse than Doc with uh, getting a time machine on a train. I mean, he had the train going the speed of light in a lot of his ways he explained it. And so <clears throat> I've decided just to, you know, study very little and think about it. So just now, I don't know if this is already a, a thing, but... I think they should start having, I think you can calculate a distance of a star based off of how many photons hit the surface of, uh, of the earth. Um, it's just something I'm thinking about as photons spread out. Cause you know, just imagine light traveling in every single direction until the photons push apart until they become one photon ring and then at that point they separate and their individual photons uh, just traveling eventually what i'm saying is, is the the wave that they travel in eventually does break up completely down to the single photon um but anyway i think with some sensors you know all over the planet or all over the state or county I don't know how big or little it needs to be but like if me and you are looking at the same star and you're a hundred yards away we can figure we can have sensors that collect uh, photons instead of going using you know, here's why I thought the idea. They've realized they don't need lenses anymore in cameras. It's all about capturing light and telling the computer what to perceive. It's just an artificial eye. That's all we're eventually creating. And so there's no reason you couldn't use that technology on the ground uh, of collecting the photons, you know, and using lasers. I mean, you know, there's other components uh but uh i think you could accurately gauge um things more you know based off of uh the amount of photons but they they might not even work or uh it might not uh they might already have it, I don't know. But I just wanted to get that idea out. I mean, it just amazes me. It's such a blessing that uh, I used to get depressed, you know? I mean, sometimes I still do, but ever since January 5th, uh, well, I guess it was, yeah, 2018. Um, I'm trying to just be in awe at just how crazy. We can't even imagine yet what we're really dealing with in outer space. And it's like some of these stars, I mean, in order for me, I'm the only one that captures those photons at that moment when I look up at a star. The only person on the, on the planet. I'm the only creature that's going to recognize those photons as coming from a light source. 
And it started like, you know, some of them a billion years ago or whatever. It's crazy. That amount of energy can ripple through and just, oh my gosh. I mean, it's not even rippling through. I mean, it's it's just going in every single direction, you know, obviously, unless it has, uh, you know, something we create and we pinpoint the light. But anyway, I, uh, I'm just visualizing it in my head as these photons are traveling and... There's something I keep sticking to is I think somehow what's what's actually propelling or creating they have to not like being next to each other. And so obviously as they're traveling forward they're pushing each other side to side and that's how you know it's able to go in all directions because they're fighting with each other each individual photon because they need their own room. They need their own space. They don't, just like anything else, just like a gas fights for its space. It's like the photons are fighting for an equilibrium and the only way it can satisfy it is by propelling it forward as the same time is propelling it sideways to fill in the gap as, you know, as a ring would get bigger, you know, you need people to fill it in. But, uh, I think it's just helping me visualize how lights travel. I, I'm learning that I don't do good when other people try to teach me stuff because I I don't know. I just, I think it goes too fast. And so I have to think longer um, when it comes to s stuff like that, abstract stuff. If it's, uh, you know, f just facts or math. That's a whole other story. You just got to pay attention. But anyway, thanks for listening.